Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, I am not going to be the only host. This is a three-part video. It is a homestead video. I will be hosting How to Butcher Ducks. Nikki here at Five Dog Farm, as you already know, you've, done, you've already met her. She's going to be hosting How to Draw uh, Blood. <laughs> She's going to be hosting How to Do a Pregnancy Test on her heifer that's been in my house for a while. Hopefully, the deed has been done. Deeds happen in these places, <laughs> and uh, Miss Katie, my neighbor, is going to be hosting how to castrate pigs. If that don't put the fear of God in you, you ain't got no fear of God in you. So we're going to be getting on with this right now. You caught a female? Yeah. There's a... <laughs> Catch a boy, Blaine. We need a boy. Is it a boy? Oh, it's another girl. Oh, another girl. We're going to have to get us a different pig catcher. It is a boy. This is a boy. Okay. First Our first victim. I, I see Step his one is locate them. Make sure you feel two round globes. Okay, got it. Okay. So then you want to make your incision right here. And you want to stop about right here, right, Micah? Yeah. One thing it never hurts to do is to cut into the testicle. That doesn't hurt anything, except maybe him. What hurts is to cut past the testicle because you can get into the intestine. intestine yeah. okay. It's popping out just fine. So you we wanna get grab the... a hold and pull. And done. <laughs> well, that one is easy peasy. Yes, it was. Yeah. All right. So, so anyway, if I don't show all this on YouTube, don't worry. I've worked for four hard, long years to build a channel. I'm not going to let pig nuts destroy my channel. <laughs> so if you want to see this in its completion, you're going to have to go to Gab, and I'll leave a link in the description of this video, and you can see it in its completion. Time for iodine. Okay, that was good job, baby. You did good. <clears throat> Quick. That was the way. Dark. Yeah. He don't really have one. That's darker here. It's, there is yeah, it's a little darker here. Yeah. So then kind of feel. Yeah. There's see one. That? Yeah. That's it. So then you would cut here, yes? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right through there. Okay. okay. I just want to take this moment to apologize to Jim for this. <laughs> <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> Honey, I love you. <laughs> so just right here. Yep. There, there you we go. are. Perfect. Hey, baby. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. All right. Oh, Micah, you heard him. <laughs> I can take the blame. That's fine. <laughs> Do you have anything to say, Grace? Oh, yes. What's that? are very delicious. Delicious? Oh, my goodness. What about you, Luke? Delicious. Delicious. And that, my friends, concludes <laughs> this segment of how to uh, do stuff on the farm. <laughs> All right. Thank you for We're going to move on to the next segment now. Oh, yeah. That's the deal right there, ain't it? Don't the other kids in this whole world envy you right now? Man, it's not just every kid has a duck head to play with. That's awesome. Everybody can pluck a little if you want. Those are short and... I see a blanket, right? Yeah. <laughs> a blanket? Absolutely. Blanket! You scald the arrow again first. Just pluck some more okay. and then we'll scald it here in a minute. Because uh, if we don't scald it, I think this could take up Okay, come over here. You can bring that stick. We're going to definitely need it. And uh, let me feel that water. That's definitely hot enough. I don't want to just leave it in there too long. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way. Look how the, see how the water just sheds right off of the duck's back? Oh, yeah. It's a very real statement. Water off a duck's back? Yeah. It's not at all like a chicken. 
I see myself a little cake. Let's do a little test. It still, it still needs more. Ducky, you gotta go for a swim. <laughs> His feet are kind of good for holding him down, but kind of good for burning him too. <laughs> Hold his leg out. I'll get between his leg and his body. All right. This one? Mm-hmm. Both of them. I'll just do this one first. That's there true. he goes. That one's that's down nice. It's okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, Let's take it fabulous. to the table. It's ready. All right. Now ain't that better. Oh, that is night and day. Although I don't want to get the the, the yellow out? part of the skin yeah. is okay if it comes off. That's just okay. like the when you scald a pig, the black outer epidermis comes off. Okay. Basically the same deal. It is amazing the, the sheer difference oh, in yeah. power that you need to use so much yeah. less. Wow. Yeah, so much better. Oh, I like huh? Now I have a, a, a question. Could you use a chicken plucker for this? Or yes. You could. Absolutely. More and more things point me in the direction of wanting them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're you, super handy. They just aren't nice to clean. No, they're not fun to clean up. But if you got a bunch to do. Yeah. I don't know that I would dirty one for two ducks. No, I wouldn't. No. But if you had 10 or 15, I, yeah. okay. I would recommend it. That's the type of thing that we have the uh, luxury to do with modern convenience. Yes. If the, the power grid That's goes out or if you have no uh, ability to keep all those after you kill them, then it's better just to let them be preserved on the hoop. <laughs> Be alive. Preserved on the hoof, I like that. This is true. Kill, kill when you need it. And that's the way I was talking to a guy that was raised in uh, South America, and he said that's how we did it. We always would go out go every out day dinner. and kill a chicken. Yeah. My great grandma did that. They lived. Um, their friends had a chicken farm, so they would go, and that evening when everybody was there, they'd go and yeah. take care of dinner. Yeah. People like to talk about farm fresh, but they don't know how fresh it can be. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> They might shudder at the thought of how fresh it is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean that fresh. <laughs> he ate some blueberries. Oh, good hope night. Berries. Oh, he ate some hope berries. Okay. Who did? The <laughs> duck kid. Oh, the duck. <laughs> I don't know that they'll do him any good, but. Yeah. yeah. He'll have a nice little purple oh, tongue. got a pain in his neck. It might help. <laughs> learned something yesterday watching a video on the celebrate sausage season with two guys in the cooler that uh, he's the one that we made that scrapple video uh, oh, that who that was yeah. and uh, his video yesterday was goose sausage Ooh. he was doing all these different types of sausages he's got some armpit hair he didn't shave there's some stuff going on yeah we got a little bit <laughs> it is a little different than a chicken yes I've literally had people on hog hog scalding videos tell me if I singe it if I singe it off that I'm leaving hairs inside the meat that will be eaten. The follicles are still there. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh boy. Bring the Brillo pad over. I'll just do that and then you can just do that right there. Mama, I want a scrub. That's a nice little Thank scrub right I'm saying take a rain check on that. Make her do that next week. Like Okay. Three days or four days next week. Or later this afternoon. Later this afternoon, yeah. Okay. Let me do it. That's the thing about after you torch it, it kind of dries it out. Yep. If you'll dip it, then all that will get really loose and really nice. All right. Once you get completely cut around the anus and you've got the abdomen basically cut open with a single slice then you can remove everything out of there. What do we have here? We got lungs. Okay. Gizzard. Okay. We got intestines. We got liver. Okay. Alright, so that's how you pluck a duck. Let's move on to the drawing blood and checking out the pregnancy test. What's your deal boy? What's your problem, huh? You ain't so big when the dig daddy shows up, are you? There's Cinnabon. There is Rosebud. Oh, hi. oh my goodness. 
Look at you. Baby Pikachu. Yeah, that's fine. Look at you. I miss you. Miss me too. Yes. <laughs> yes, I missed mommy. Yes. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, we're here with Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Get me on the pronunciation. I'm not. She good. doesn't care. She don't. Okay. <laughs> She will care about what's fixing to happen, but that's just part of life on the farm. You don't always get what you want, but it's time to draw a little blood and we're gonna see if we got the pregnancy. Now you have to send this off, right? Yes, I gotta send it out and it takes about 10 days, I believe, okay. to get the results back and then we'll know if she's bred or not. Okay, so in this video, you're probably not gonna know if she got bred or not because that's not what it's about. It's about how to do it. So uh, here's how. So what you wanna do is you wanna lift her tail. And then you'll find a groove right see here. It. Uh -huh. Here's the groove. This is where you want to stick the needle in. She's okay. not going like this because you're lifting her tail. Right. Feel right here. You can feel so that right groove. in here, right in the groove. She's going to move when that okay. goes in. Oh. oh, got it. There we go. Excellent. This is a vacutainer, and this is how you ship it to get it tested. You want to do the honors? Yeah, sure. The and magic. this is what you're looking at here. And I just put this in here and then squeeze the blood. You don't even have to squeeze the plunger. Just put the needle in until you feel you have come get through. through the rubber. Oh, and, and it just happens. sucks it. Look at that. Now you may need to push the plunger the last little bit. So when they say vacuum, they're not kidding. It actually just vacuums it right in. And we're ready for delivery to see if she's going to deliver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good girl. I'm glad you enjoyed your snacks. Yeah. <laughs> and you got daddy over here, the proud papa. <laughs> what are you doing with my woman? <laughs> this corn is oh, pretty oh, that's way much easier. That's you. like gold. Like gold on the cob? Like gold on the cob, just so way more delicious. Mm. Mm. Them animals say it's way more valuable than gold. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there's our video. We got all three things done we wanted to do, right? Yes. So I think everybody is pretty well satisfied. That's all we've got for you. So you may as well just leave so we can get on about our day. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.